Hi, so this particular playlist is all about answers to tough questions and the whole idea is that I'm going to post the question. Um, if you pause the video, have a go at the solution and then the answer will be given in the final part of the video. I hope it's useful to you and please do add a comment, like, subscribe to the site and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next videos. Okay, so this particular solving of simultaneous equations is a little bit tricky because we've got a couple of negative numbers to deal with. The whole idea behind it is we need to make sure that we lose, in this particular case, either the A terms or the B terms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the first equation by 8 because if I do that, this will become 8A and then I've got 8A and I'm going to take the two away from each other, so I'm going to get 8a, take away 8a, and that means I will lose that particular part of the equation, so it's going to work well for me. So let's have a go at that. Okay, so the first equation I'm going to multiply by 8. That's going to give me 8a, and then I'm going to get 8 times minus 5 is going to be minus 40b. And that's going to be equal to 8 times minus 12, which is minus 96. I hope you can see this OK. All righty. And then the second equation, I'm going to leave it as it is. So I've got 8a plus 3b equals minus 10. All right. Now I'm in a position that if I take the bottom equation away from the top equation, it means I can lose it all together. So I've got 8a minus 8a, and that's going to give me nothing. OK, so now I can deal with these b terms. So I've got minus 40 minus plus 3b. Well, that's the same as saying minus 40 minus 3b. So minus 40 minus 3 is going to be minus 43b. And that's going to equal 96, and then I've got minus a minus. So that becomes a plus where you've got two minus signs together, it becomes a plus. So it's going to be minus 96 plus 10. Well, that's still going to be a minus, but it's going to be minus 86. And that kind of gives me a fair bit of confidence, because I know now that if I divide through by minus 43 on both sides, I end up with B, because minus 43 divided by minus 43 is B. It's a positive value of B. And that's going to equal minus 86 divided by 43. That's going to be, divided by minus 43, is going to be a positive 2. Because a, positive, uh, a negative divided by a negative is going to be a positive. So that's going to give me 2. OK, so B equals 2 on this particular set of equations. And really, we're in a position now that we can use that and put it straight into whichever equation we like. I'll choose the first one because it kind of looks a bit easier to do, um, but it doesn't really matter which one you choose. OK, so if I look at the first equation, which is this one here, I could choose this or this or this. It doesn't really matter. They're all the same. So I'm going to choose B equals 2, and I'm going to substitute it into that top equation. So I've got A minus 5, and the easiest way is to write 2 in brackets, because that's actually substituting the B, and that equals minus 12. OK, so let's just calculate that out. And I've got A, and I've got minus 5 times 2, well that's minus 10, and that equals minus 12. OK, so in order to get A on one side, it's a straightforward linear equation. So I'm just going to add 10 to both sides. And if I do that, uh, that minus 10 and that positive 10 separate out or become neutral. And I get A equals minus 12 plus 10. Well, that's going to be minus 2. So in this particular set of equations, A equals I hope you can see that OK, minus 2, and B equals positive 2. Um, I hope that's been OK for you. Thanks ever so much for the question. I hope you've been successful in working through the solution, and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.